on a little song for you. So let's talk about why I was jamming out to that song. Hey, what's up? Jeff Lerner here. So why am I driving around up in the hills listening to Seal talk about how if we're going to survive, we got a little bit crazy, and why did I decide to shoot a video about it? Well, it's really simple. Uh, I love that song. First of all, it's just a great song, but there's such a deep truth in that song. I was reading an article the other day by a, actually a brain researcher, and they were studying the brains of really successful CEOs and also really productive creatives. Uh, you know, artists and musicians and such, and they found that the typical really successful person, although that's kind of an oxymoron, typical and really successful, because most people aren't really successful, but the typical really successful person has what they call a hypomanic state, which is basically, so manic is like, ah, crazy, right? And then hypo is like just under, you know, like a hypodermic needle goes under the skin. Hypomanic means just under manic, right? So it's just a little bit short of crazy. It's, it's still crazy relative to like most people, most of the time, ordinary life. Really successful people have this hypomanic state that is a foundational component of their personality. And they go into these periods of time when they produce, and you, you look at composers, you listen, like I remember even an interview with Mike Myers talking about when he wrote the first Austin Powers movie. He had this vision for like a James Bond spoof and he literally sat down and he wrote the, the screenplay for the first Austin Powers movie in two weeks. You know, we're talking about a movie that turned into a franchise that grossed, you know, over a billion dollars. He wrote the script in two weeks. Tell me Mike Myers wasn't in a hypomanic state, probably pounding the, the coffees and the espressos and who knows what else, cranking out this screenplay. Like really successful people go into these phases of their life. It's not all the time. It's not that they're dysfunctional people who can't have families and can't have normal lives, but it's like, you know, in, in fitness, they call it beast mode. There's like this mode that you have to go into sometimes to really make stuff happen. And without that mode, we live our life in stasis and we don't rock the boat and we maintain status quo. We, we lose time, time slips away. I, I look at every successful person I know and I, I ask people, story, you know, tell me their story to really dig into what sets them apart because success is such a rare thing. I mean, it's, it's a statistical anomaly when people are wildly successful. And consistently there's this commonality of something, something flipped, some switch flipped or something snapped and they went into a mode, whether it was for a month or a year or a decade, where they just performed at a peak level, at an almost superhuman level relative to the homeostasis of their life. And I'm going to suggest that whatever you got to do, whatever trigger you got to create, whatever memory you need to access, you got to figure out how to get into that mode. I remember when I was a kid once talking to my mom and she was telling me about movements, like social movements. And I think we were talking about the, the feminist movement, but she said it's, it's the same for all social movements. When there's a systemic problem, and society or culture needs to adjust. There has to be a group of people who, who go to an extreme just to, re, just to draw the pendulum back to center. It's like, you know, yeah, people that are engaged in a political movement or a movement for social change, they tend to be extremists, but that's necessary just to get people to pay attention to the issue. The reason I say this isn't because I'm advocating political unrest. I am advocating unrest in the context of our own life. If we wanna have any actual chance, of changing our life. That's why I've created Entra, to try to wake people up and, and snap them out of their, their, their zone. You know, get out of your comfort zone and get into your beast zone in your own life. Be the radical, be the, the politically disruptive person in your own life. Find that trigger, find that mode, find that crazy place, and then attack a plan. Don't just get ah, crazy and like freak out, G get a plan and attack it. And what I want to suggest is that in the world we live in, for the average person who wants to create a, a, dis, a positive disruption in their life, something that, that quantum leaps them forward into a new set of possibilities for their life, there is no greater mechanism than the internet. The internet creates extraordinary possibilities, creates leverage, creates 
you know, a business that never shuts down, never sleeps, never calls in sick, never has to, to close, doesn't even have to take holidays off. The internet is so extraordinarily powerful. If you don't know my story, you can look me up. I have a, a massive pendulum swing in my own life because I figured out how to use the internet. And now what I do is I try to teach people how to get some shred of what I got in my life, which is I was broke, I was down and out, and it doesn't matter where you are, I'm saying where I was, I was in a place I didn't want to be. And I learned how to sell products on the internet. It, it, it sounds so easy, I mean, it's like a real business, there's stuff you gotta learn, but it's all right there. You just gotta, you just gotta commit, you gotta, you gotta go into that beast mode, you gotta go into that hypomanic state, you gotta say, I'm never gonna survive, I'm never gonna thrive unless I get a little bit crazy. And that might mean for the next 30 days or the next 90 days, I'm going to withdraw from some of the other things I've got going in my life. And I'm going to commit to finally learning how to see through this, this promise, this thing that I keep seeing about and reading about and hearing about and watching videos about, which is that money can be made on the internet. There are real, sustainable, mainstream, legitimate business models that millions of people around the world are plugging into and, and operating real, positive cash flow businesses from home. There's there's mainstream business models, things like affiliate marketing, things that if you go to walmart.com, you go to bestbuy.com, you got to go to nordstrom.com, you go to amazon.com. Amazon's the biggest affiliate marketing program in the world. There are people making millions of dollars just affiliate marketing Amazon products. This isn't some crazy, you know, thing that happens in the shadows uh, of the internet. This is how the internet runs. There's just some people who get it and who are able to capitalize on it by putting themselves in the stream of internet commerce that's already happening. Maybe it's setting up a Shopify store. Maybe it's selling products through e-commerce with ads that you run on Facebook or ads that you run on YouTube. Maybe it's learning a few basic digital marketing skills and selling them to local businesses. I teach all of it because I do all of it because all of it has been incredibly successful for me. That's the amazing thing about the internet. The internet is like gasoline for the fire of opportunity. You take all your willingness, all your drive, all your hunger, all your, your ability to learn and, and do new things, all those same, same factors that were you know, essential to being successful in any business, you put it on the internet and you multiply it times the power of huge leverage, billions of people, geographical neutrality. I can, I can sell stuff to people in Vietnam as easily as I can sell stuff to people in France. You take uh, the, you know, the fact that it, it's constantly running, it never shuts down, it never sleeps. And, and the fact that it's really, it's still an undertapped opportunity. Yeah, there's, there's thousands of people making money on Amazon. Yeah, there's thousands of people running successful Shopify stores. But there's billions of people buying products and services on the internet. The market hasn't caught up to the demand yet. There's, there, we've still got 10 years before everybody that's gonna come onto the internet and everybody that's gonna capitalize on the internet has actually done so. But that doesn't mean that you really have 10 years. It's 10 years of diminishing opportunity. Actually, the best moment to start was 10 or 20 years ago. The second best moment to start is right now. So if I can do you that service of flipping that switch, of, of pressing that button, of being that trigger in your life to go, okay, enough. I've seen the opportunity out there. I know it's out there. And this Jeff guy had to butt into my day and tell me that I need to do it now. I need to carpe the DM right now. Then I have done you a service and I'm glad that we had this conversation, all right? So go ahead and click the link below this video. Check out my trading. It's like dirt cheap. There's so much opportunity out there and there's so many people taking advantage of this training. It doesn't have to be prohibitively expensive for people to access, but check it out and see what this, this promised land can actually offer you because this is not rainbows and unicorns pie in the sky stuff. This is just a willingness to sit down at your computer, watch training videos, learn skills, click the mouse, do the things, follow the steps, and ultimately get the result. You can have any life you want with the internet working for you. I can't say that about most other, other business models. I can't say, look, you can go open up a, a, a television repair servicing shop, or you can go open up a chiropractic clinic, or you can go open up a, a law firm and have any life you want. Because as soon as you open up one of those businesses, now you're tied to it. The internet doesn't tie you down. It sets you free and it makes you money. And it gives you the most valuable set of skills that you can have in the modern digital economy. So go ahead and click the link, check out this training. I can't wait to see you there.
Also, if you like my videos and you want more content about what's possible in this world, and in particular, how you can completely transform your life with the power of the internet and the, the different opportunities available to you in the digital economy, then uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you click the little alarm bell so you get notifications when I post new videos and definitely grab that training and let's get you started on the road to uh, a powerful internet business for your own life, all right? Take care, I'll see you there.